What if I told you that the emission of light is actually the expansion of 186,000 miles of space at one second instead of light? In other words, the light is the stationary observer instead of the observed for example here you have light equals observer and this observer through the eyes of the light this observer is stationary right it does not move but yet it does I'll explain now the way this happens is if the observer is stationary and this is the light and a stationary base the expansion of time the one second times the 186,000 miles of space is what we observe. Since the light of the observer, and this is what occurs with space-time, the expansion of space via time, this is how you have your space-time. What occurred was the emission of light was caused by a conscious state here. The conscious state is what caused light, the probable wave, and light is light is finite. Light has an emission from point A to point B. From uh, here you have the emission and over here you have the absorption. Absorption, okay. Now from here to here you have light this is light the speed of light is 186,000 miles per second now that being the here you have an observer, a stationary observer, equals zero. Velocity equals zero right here. Which observes this 186,000 miles crossing the sky, crossing space. Now, if something is stationary and if something else is moving, Time is relative, so it doesn't matter if this right here, this point right here, is stationary. As long as this other point up here is moving across the sky. So, that being the case, since everything is relative, therefore either this is moving. this is moving or they're both moving right. now C equals speed of light of light okay now if you have C equals 186,000 
at one second then C equals 93,000 miles at 0.5 seconds therefore if you C equals 18,600 miles at point one one tenth of a second yet you have this being constant this is still constant and this is too. Speed does not change. What changes is the time right here. So that being the case, as you can see, C is constant. It's not being violated. The only difference is the time. So if that's the case, here you have then you C equals, if you break this down, let's say right here. Let's say, let's say I have this right here. You have point 0.1 right here, right? So, if I move this 18,600 uh, 18, miles, okay? So, if I convert this 1 10th of a second into 1 two three four decimal two three four right there then one two one two oops two three four there we go so that equals c equals 1.8 miles miles at at 1 2 3 4 1 seconds equals velocity and there's no velocity right Now, let me show you something. If zero right here breaks down here, zero, V equals zero, and C equals V equals zero, then where's the velocity? Oh, there we go. The velocity is right here. I'll show you. So we start off like this. Um, C constant broke down to V velocity equals zero. And this breaks down to this. If zero is the observer, the stationary observer. Observer, oh yeah. All right, then something has to create the velocity. If this, if light is not moving. So what you have here then is 186,000 miles of space moving this way expanding all right here's your observer and you have this one second of time moving that way 
And here you have your space time. Right there. With your stationary observer. So, in essence, you have a stationary observer and the with the light with the point of view of, of the light being the observer which breaks down into a zero state the as long as something is moving see this is stationary as long as something is moving right here see the space is moving instead of the light at the beginning initial state of the universe where the constant state the constant state of velocity through the eyes of the observer which is light here through the eyes of the observer right here which is light being stationary which was broken down from 186,000 miles per second down to 1.8 miles per per point zero 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 one seconds stationary observer All right instead of the light moving what if time and space moved then that will solve your relative speed the constant speed at 186,000 miles of space here and then you have your your time the time of one second moving in there this way